So to H to access point, um, build the third at four minutes isn't going to come up at every every game. So, okay, I'm going to argue with my coach for a little bit, uh, and it's not because I care about being right. It's not because I care about him being wrong, and. Uh, I wouldn't do this if I thought it was just going to be boring for you guys. I think that this is educational content, so I'm going to not ladder for a minute while we have this argument. Cool? Cool. Okay. So, HJX is of the opinion that a focus goal must be doable every single game, and that um, I'm leaving something on the table if that isn't the case, right? So, so for example, this focus goal, which uh, was his idea, and he recommended to me. Um, this you could do in any game, right? Um, and and it's completely within my control, so it satisfies that criteria, and it is important to do, right? So within my control. Uh, oh, I forgot what my three things were. Sorry, I'm really sick. <laughs> Um, but okay, here's here's my thing. Uh, so so one way to one viewpoint onto this issue is that uh, you're leaving something on the table if you do a ladder game and like uh, your focus goal is like tighten up my PVZ build. That's what I want to work on tonight, and then I hit only Protosses, right? That's that's you know you're you're missing out on some focus goal time. There is a different viewpoint, which is the the school of thought that I subscribe to, which is that if I only choose goals that I can do every single game, I am missing out on honing certain skills. I can never focus goal a specific build. I can never focus goal a specific situation. All of these, any, anything that is narrower in scope, I literally cannot do. And so I, I lose a tool to work on that. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to the chat at all? You could raise a Kappa or a Pog Champ or an Aira OMG if that makes sense to you. And you could raise a what face if you're like, what the hell is he talking about? Whether you agree or disagree, Epic Eden was not the question. The question was, did it make sense? <laughs> you could, yes, that is an excellent thought, White Cat, and one that I actually used to try a lot back in the day. And, uh,. And what would happen with that is um, I would get distracted. I, I would mentally, maybe not even mentally, I would be emotionally invested in one of the goals and not the other one. Like I would BS a goal for like PVT and PVP, at, but really where my head and my heart was at was like, I really want to tighten up this PVC build. So for me, I'm a really emotional dude. Y'all y'all have seen that, right? Like I don't flip out and like throw things or whatever, but like I'm a very like, I don't know, I feel very strongly. Um, and and so what I've noticed is if I'm not focus goaling, the thing that I think I need to work on most, instead of caring about the focus goal, I care about winning. And the whole point is to not care about winning, right? That's the whole idea behind all of it. Um, so yeah, the, the multi-focus goal thing, while like really great in theory, and I bet you there are a lot of people it would work for, for me, it kind of felt flat, even though I wanted to like it. Do a specific focus goal for each match. Uh, okay, I already read that. Simple is better. I mean, <sighs> simple is good. I don't know if it's better. I, I think both are good. I, I like focus goals like this one a lot. Like this one that HX gave me. I think that it's really good. Um, but, um, yeah, for me, I've gotten a lot of mileage out of these narrow focus goals. I wouldn't say better, but they both have a place. Yeah, exactly, love. Exactly, exactly. Epic Eaton says... Made sense, it's an unmerited point. I think you should focus on something you can do. Give your own strengths and then dedicating time to something completely out of the picture when you've not mastered. Ah, so uh, this is an interesting point, Epic Eden. I'm really glad you said that. I'm really, really, okay. So you are you are not the first person to posit this argument. Um, Ninja Starcraft was in here on Tuesday night, and he said almost exactly word for word the same thing that you're saying. His point was, um, that I could probably get to Masters if I just tighten up my builds. And I think he's absolutely right. Um, and again, I think that this is not... Uh... So remember when I started this whole diatribe, right? I said, this is not about making myself right. This is not about making HX wrong. And I'm only doing this because I think it's interesting content, right? So like, I know not everybody wants to watch some dude talk in front of a victory screen. 
Um, but I think by and large, the people who watch me like thinking about thinking and like thinking about how to get better at the game. Um, so anyway, uh, back to back to your point though, Epic Eden, I, I think this is a viewpoint thing. I think that this is, um, it's not like a value judgment, but it's like depending on what perspective you have, you will you will prefer one or the other. So, um, so yours is kind of like a like a checklist sort of mentality, right? It's like I'm going to focus on this until I have it, and then it's going to be done, and I'm not going to have to worry about it anymore. And that's definitely a technique that I use in my life with like just stuff in general. Um, like, and it allows you to be very honed in on what you're working on. The approach that I've been taking, which is different, not necessarily better or worse, but the approach that I've been taking since Bronze, um, is to try to identify what is the thing that I am currently worst at? What is the thing where effort is going to give me the absolute most bang for my buck and, and the most mileage, right? Um, and so I'll switch focus goals a lot because, um, you know, I'll realize, oh, like, so let's let's rewind to like Silver League, right? My spending's crap, my supply blocks are crap, my builds are crap, right? So I'd work on supply block for a while, right? Okay, okay, now I'm not getting supply blocked at, at 22 as much, right? Oh, but I'm floating to a billion, okay? Well, now I make my spending better. Oh, but now I supply block again because I'm my spending's better, right? So let's go back to that. Okay, well, now I'm Gold League and I can spend my money and I can kind of sort of make pylons, but my builds are trash and I don't know what I'm doing and I lose to Ling all ins because like I don't know how to wall off. Okay, let's fix those things. Let's get the builds right. Let's learn how to wall in, right? And so I do this, and I, I was in that loop, in this loop of like hardcore fundamentals until high plat, low diamond. And then I did coaching with h -Jax, and he was like, oh my god, dude, like you make really good armies for your level, right? The only reason that you're barely diamond, the reason that you're like constantly in demote to plat MMR, is that you take such bad fights. Let me show you how to not just move command your army and not like run your army through chokes or into siege tank meat grinders and whatever. And all of a sudden I shoot up to Diamond 2, right? And and we hung out there for a while, right? And then he was like, ah, but you're relying on this all-in in PvZ. Let's let's learn macro play. And then I demote down to like mid Diamond 3, right? So it's this process of bouncing up and down and like honing the areas where I'm weak, right? And for me, that has always allowed me to feel that I'm getting the most skill for my time. But I can absolutely understand the mindset that would want to be completionist and say, let's Let's get it to where I literally never supply block, and then we'll worry about spending my money. Okay, now we probably gotta go back and make sure we still never supply block. Okay, now let's get our micro one point or whatever. Like, you could totally do it that way. I don't think it's wrong. I think it's preference. Okay, I missed a lot of chat while I was blabbing. I've been trying to also get better. This is the thing I'm working on as a streamer to not be so scatterbrained. Um, is to uh, to make sure that I finish a thought and then re-chat. Finish a thought and then re-chat. Um, okay, so White Cat is saying, what about going through, picking what you think you need the most work for a matchup, having a general thing for the other two to not miss out on time? I used to do that a lot, too. Um, that one I actually kind of like, but it, it still feels a little bit like I'm phoning it in. It feels a little bit half-assed. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, freaking keep your minerals under, like, 1400 for the other two matchups, then hit this benchmark in your PVC build. It's like, the other two matchups, I'm like, yeah, kind of whatever. Um... It's probably better than just saying free point. I don't know. I kind of go back and forth on it, but I'm, I'm glad you're thinking along the same lines as me, my cat. That makes me feel good. I uh, love is saying certain days you need to really focus on something even for myself. I don't make enough workers every game, rely on micro. Unless I'm actively thinking about it, I stop at 55. Then I focus on that until I get to 70 or so. Everything gets easier. I need to remind myself to do that probably once each week. A focus goal would help me put attention. Yeah. So I think that's that's kind of a cool way to use it too. I haven't heard of anyone doing that, but I can absolutely see how like it's like a it's like a booster shot, right? So you go get your flu shot or whatever, you know, one, once a year, a little tune up kind of thing. Thank you for talking about this. After getting stuck in a league for thousands of games, I need help. Well, I'm glad it's useful, Circuit. I'm glad it's useful. Do you have a vod about this? I mean, shit, I do now, man. I do now. <laughs> Uh, I can I can clip this and turn it into a vod, but um, Circuit, have you watched my my bite size series? I've got a whole thing on there that talks about like different mindset stuff. You're gonna know all of the mechanical ones. Um, I've got three split tracks. One is like everything. One is mindset, and one is uh, just mechanical stuff. It's like here's how you use hotkeys and stuff for people who are super new. Um, I'm planning on doing more work in this space. Um, 
I, I want to write kind of a better version of what I just said and then maybe make a video out of it. Because um, I Ninja was posing a lot of these questions the other day and I didn't have good answers for him because I don't think well on my feet. And I've just been, I was telling Pierre earlier in Discord, I've been just like obsessively scribbling notes and like thinking about this ever since then. Um, and I, I haven't totally coalesced it yet, but um, I want to do like an article or a video or something about this eventually. Three main things in StarCraft that have multiple different sub-elements. Mechanics, micro, knowledge. Wouldn't equate them as equal. <laughs> oh, look, that's funny. Wouldn't call them equal. So what I'm saying, in terms of my own focus goals, I'm a bit different to you in that regard. Since I practice with partners around my level, I'll take goals like, I'll stop the seven minute Terran push rather than, I'll perfect my macro and never miss an inject. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a cool approach, Epic Eden. Um, and I do do that type of practice as well. Um, actually, White Cat uh, was helping me out last weekend for um, just Terrans who were throwing me weird looks in the early game. Where like, I don't know what's going on and then figuring out how to not overreact, but make the right stuff or like, how do I get the information I need? Um, yeah, so you might you might like the coaching streams if that's the kind of way that you like to practice. Um, so it's like I've got a GM in my ear in Discord and he is observing the game and then I have a practice partner and we, we do like a whole thing. Um, and a lot of people actually have said that's like their favorite content that I make, which like in a way feels good and in a way it's like, oh, y'all are just here for H-Texas, 